Welcome to the webinar, Think Before You Click, Keeping Kids and Teens Safe Online. Hello, I'm Kay Stevens, co-author of the award-winning cyberbullying prevention book, CyberSlammed, which covers the six most common types of cyberbullying tactics teens are using today. In this short eight-minute webinar, you're going to learn some valuable tips on how to protect your teenager's digital presence online. Sponsored by Maine Health's Learning Resource Center. This is the first webinar in our cyberbullying prevention series where we start with the basics. Your online reputation starts with your digital footprint, which is each and every trace of personal information you leave online every time you post on social networks, upload a video, or use email, etc. Even if your teenager doesn't have an online presence, websites like Spokio collect publicly accessible information about every single person. Try this. Plug your teenager's name into Spokio.com. You might be surprised how much information you find that has already been collected. I recommend everyone find this quick YouTube tutorial on how to remove personal information off Spokio. Simply Google how to get your personal information off Spokio with the keyword YouTube. Be aware though, Spokio is not the only website collecting your personal information. To find the others, Google remove my personal information from public data sources. A number of articles will walk you through the process. Back to your digital footprint. Parents don't often think about it, but a child's digital presence often begins with their first image, a sonogram, being posted online. Thus starts a lifetime of online visibility as the child grows up. These days, parents need to be extra cautious about what photos they share publicly with their own social networks about their children. While some photos may seem cute or funny, cyberbullies have been known to pull embarrassing photos off the parents' social networks. So before you post anything online, ask yourself, will my child be okay with this photo being online when he or she is a teenager? 95% of all teens ages 12 to 17 are now online and 80% are users of social media sites. Contrary to the popular perception, young adults are often more vigilant than older adults when it comes to managing their online identities. However, people with bad intent can always find ways to extract that information for their own purposes. Doxing is what cyberbullies do when they gather information about their target by scouring everything they can find out about him or her on the internet. Its name is derived from documents, or docs, based around the idea that the more you know about your target, the easier it will be to find his or her flaws. When a conflict in real life happens and it jumps online, anything that can be found out under your digital footprint is currency in the hands of cyberbullies and trolls, easily copied, edited, and shared, sometimes by millions. This 11-year-old girl we're not going to identify is considered one of the most disturbing examples of internet backlash as a result of her provocative oversharing online. It all started with a YouTube video and a Tumblr account in which she created posts as a way to confront certain classmates who were badmouthing her. Her behavior in these videos and posts were shocking and her parents had no clue she was posting anything online until it was too late. A national backlash started. Adults and teens began to dox everything they could find out about her, not caring that she was only 11 years old in a high-risk home situation. They circulated her real name, phone number, address, and links to all of her social networking accounts. They prank called her and spammed her Facebook and MySpace accounts. She even received death threats. All of this backlash did incredible damage to a kid who was already fragile and trying to seek attention on the internet. While studies show that most kids' online actions are fairly positive, Everyday teenagers around the world engage in some sort of conflict or negative interaction with friends and ex-relationships. But because they are acting emotionally in the moment, they don't understand how this lingering digital dirt can come back to haunt them. 
Even if they think their privacy settings won't allow adults to find compromising digital dirt, there are always ex-friends and people with motives who can steal content from their protected social networking sites and use it against them. Bottom line, the conversation you need to have with teens is don't trust anyone to safeguard your digital content. Don't take it, don't post it, and don't share it. Many teens are using Snapchat, a mobile smartphone app that allows the user to take a photo and send it to the recipient for a quick view. The photo then is automatically deleted from both phones in 10 seconds. The problem is this is a very false sense of security. Most teens now know how to do a workaround screen capture of the image before it is deleted. Experts recommend taking charge of your own public relations online. Set up a special positive profile on your teen so that in the event of someone putting up a cyberbullying website or profile on your teen, you will have something to positively counteract the public perception with while you work to take the negative site down. Since teenagers are constantly adding to their digital footprint every day, it's important to take control of it by monitoring it on a regular basis. Note we are not affiliated with any of the following tools. We just find them to be the best that we have researched. A Google alert is the basic search to start with. By simply typing in the URL google.com slash alerts, you can set up keywords on your teenager's name, home, and school. You'll then receive emails directly to your inbox so you'll be instantly notified if cyberbullying is appearing under your teenager's name. Yasni is the world's leading people search engine, which provides a comprehensive overview of people and their associated networks, including contacts, pictures, and other publicly available information. Social Mention is another social media search engine that searches user-generated content such as blogs, comments, bookmarks, events, news, videos, and microblogs. Plug in your teen's name, school, and home as the keywords and you'll get real-time results. Finally, tech bloggers are calling Mention a more comprehensive brand monitoring service, though it takes a little more effort to set up. Mention works like Google Alert in that it'll send you an email when your keywords are mentioned online. Its free service gives you three alerts, 500 mentions per month, and one month of history. For teenagers, cyberbullying is like war. You can't protect yourself until you know how to anticipate your enemy's tactics. Visit our website to find more resources to help you identify potential cyberbullying tactics and to help the teens in your life learn how to protect themselves online. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our webinar. Check back to the Maine Health Learning Resource Center to find more webinars on this topic in the coming months. Be safe online and take care.